start uh, IGDIM and uh, I will first give uh, the microphone to Marie-France Joubert who is Vice President of uh, Roy University and she will give uh, an introductionary talk. Thank you Christophe. So, um, dear Professor Christophe Dujardin, Chairman of this International Conference of Dynamical uh, Defects in Insulating Materials 216, uh, dear members of the organizing committee, dear colleagues, dear friends, I have the pleasure to welcome you in uh, this uh, university on behalf of uh, Professor Frédéric Fleury, the president of the university, uh, I wanted to tell you that uh, uh, the University Claude Bernard Lyon 1, we say UCBL, is uh, uh, particularly honored to welcome you in this amphitheater and uh, also uh, to welcome this international conference uh, on uh, material science and partic particularly on defects in material science. Uh, we, you know, uh, find the secret of materials and uh, performing research to find new materials for application in many, many domains is one of uh, the research objectives of uh, our university, but not uh, only, of course. Uh, a few words about our university. Uh, it's a multidisciplinary plenary university uh, specialize in both fundamental and applied uh, research and essentially in formal and natural sciences. Uh, we develop also research in health sciences, technology and engineering and also sport and a few uh, social and human sciences. Um, we develop our, as much as, as most as possible interactions um, between these different disciplines and interactions and collaborations uh, with uh, other research teams in different countries. To give you a few numbers, uh, in uh, this university, uh, 42,000 students, 4,600 uh, employees, 68 research units, most of them associated with uh, national institutions as CNRS, but others also, a budget of uh, 405 million euros, 14 geographical sites, and a total floor area of about uh, 500,000 meters square. And you are here in one of our two medicine faculties. Um, a few words also you can see here, Université de Lyon. In fact, UCBL is part of Université de Lyon, which is the most important French university site outside the Paris region. So I know that uh, you are about 160 people here and uh, that uh, you come not only from our region, but uh, from many other teams from France and from at least uh, 30 countries, I think, around the world. So this is a wonderful example of scientific dynamics to go ahead in materials and material sciences and material science research. So welcome again and have a fruitful conference and also a very pleasant stay in Lyon. Thank you. So thank you, Marie-France. So I expect that you have to leave because you have an important meeting right now. So good morning. 
Um, when you are giving an opening talk, you are always thinking about the first uh, word that you will say. So the first word is very easy, is congratulations to Portugal tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh, welcome uh, to this uh, conference. Um, I will just give a, a short comments about uh, the history of this uh, conference. The thing is uh, that uh, now we have a strong competition among all the conferences and it's uh, very hard to preserve a community for that. Um, a lot of uh, new conferences are emerging. Most of them are business oriented. I mean, they want to gather as much as they can, <laughs> but they are doing a lot of parallel sessions and at the end you are 20 or 30 in the, in the room. So this is not... Uh, very good, I think. The main difference with our conference is uh, that this is a smaller one, but uh, we have our own history and we have to recall it. And our conference is uh, really focused on a, a very particular um, uh, field of, uh, of science. And because a community needs to know its history, I took the liberty to just uh, recall that. With the help of uh, some of the members of the committee, Alan Chadwick, Rob Jackson, uh, Martin Nicol, Anna Veda, and Rosanna Capelletti. So, I found this paper from Professor Pick in Stuttgart, and he wrote in 80 a very nice uh, review on the historics of the field. And the, the title is 50 Years of Colossantia's Physics. It's easy to find it on, on the web, and I really recommend to, to read it. So, he just explained that in the early 20s, um, this is what was known on uh, solid-state science, I mean, in terms of defects. So, sodium chloride uh, might be colored by X-ray or radioactive irradiation. And this is exactly what you are seeing here. This, this is salt, which has been irradiated by X-rays, and you see the color. The, thing, the same results is coming out, uh, heat treatment under sodium vapor. And as a result of that, uh, it changed the photoconductivity uh, uh, of, of the material. And then, based on these experimental facts, uh, it creates, uh, which is so-called, uh, color center physics. So then, as soon as something is interesting for scientists, they want to gather and they create a, a conference, which is a color center symposium, and the first one was in 56 in, in Argonne. It was a three years conference, and then they wanted to broaden the, 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 the field of interest. I mean, they want to gather more people. And then the name switched to Defect in Insulating Crystal in 77 in Gatlingburg in, in the US. So, as a summary, it can be like this. So, you have this color center physics here. Then you have this series of color centers conference or symposium and then it moves to a defect on the insulating uh, materials, and this is ICDIM. And in parallel in Europe, then the first one was on latest defect in ionic crystals, it is more or less the same. So it started in Marseille in 73, and then it switched to Eurodim in Lyon in uh, 94, and then you have the European side of uh, this conference series. So here is ICDIM and here is uh, Eurodim. Of course, it probably also existed a community in the former Soviet Union, but I did not get any information on, uh, on that. So about uh, where uh, was held these conferences? So the first one was so in the US, as I said, then it moved to, to Riga, back uh, to US, then uh, in uh, Italy, uh, then Germany, back to US, south of Africa. Um, then I do not remember. Riga again, sorry. <laughs> yes. Uh, Riga, Brazil, Santa Fe, and now we are here in 2016. So, about our conference right now. So, we came from Color Center Physics, and now this is a topic that uh, we put on the web when you submitted your abstract, and as a result of that, we receive all these abstracts. 
So you can see that most of them are in luminescence of excitants and purity and defects. And uh, the other one is radiation-induced defects and material damages. And then you have point on extended defect in bulk, a lot of modeling as well, and uh, application uh, topics uh, was... Uh, you, you get many abstract on that. So about the attendees. So you can see that most of them comes from Europe, but we have a few from Brazil, from US, from China, Japan, and so on. So we are really an international uh, conference. We are 153 attendees uh, for, for this conference. We, had, we have uh, seven invited uh, speakers. So I gave them one hour to speak, and don't be surprised if they are starting with uh, pedagogical slides for the, the first slides at least. I, I, I really asked that to them, uh, because we have many students as well, and uh, it's very important. And they also gave the authorization to be video recorded, and all the video will be on YouTube after the conference. So, two very important items for, uh, for the conference. The first one is to have, um, um, I mean, the audience has to respect the speakers, so when the coffee break is ended, you will have this uh, nice uh, sound. And the other one is, uh, in order to have the speaker respecting the audience, they will have a timer uh, to respect the schedule. And, um, also, we have a flash hall presentation for the posters, so all the speakers for this flash hall presentation uh, <coughs> will receive their instruction uh, via email. About proceedings, so proceeding will be published in IOP uh, conference series. Uh, so in order to submit that, you will use the same platform as you used for abstract submission, which means this is all platform. Okay, but please respect the template which is provided by IOP, and I, I sent you uh, recently the, the, the web link to, to get the template for this uh, abstract. And the deadline for the submission is Thursday uh, 20th of uh, July. So being together is really the spirit of this conference. Um, it means that all halls are uh, as a plenary session. We, we don't want having uh, parallel sessions. Uh, all the poster session will be organized in parallel with uh, something to drink and to eat. So uh, it's really a way to, to have a long poster session and to really discuss with that. And of course, uh, we'll also propose all the lunches together uh, during the conference still to be uh, together. We also aim to provide a job opportunities, so there are probably some students who are about to defend their PhDs and they will uh, probably look for a postdoc later. So in the entrance of this amphitheater you have a blue board and you can stick your CV on it. On the other side, there are probably some senior scientists who get lucky with their proposals and they get funding and they can hire some postdocs and you can stick your job offer on this blue board uh, as well.